All right, happy Friday, everyone. Thank you for joining us for our December Parent Advisory Council meeting. We hope everyone has have, had a great week and that you're ready for uh, to have some fun with your babies next week for our holiday break. Um, we are hoping to bring you a lot of amazing resources today, but first I'm going to introduce myself. I'm Crystal Hawkins, our district's family engagement specialist. Um, and so today, you might be wondering uh, for the, you know, what is Parent Advisory Council? So basically, um, we hope to have space through Facebook Live and through Facebook where we, um, you can share resources or we share resources with you. We know that we're trying to do this virtual and we cannot wait till we can get back in, in person. Uh, but basically, PAC is space for us to come together in community, share resources, and we often will give you all opportunities to um, advocate and to sit in different uh, committees. So that's PAC. And so for today, we are going to be bringing you um, some resources from different departments. So you might see in front of you um, our FACE team, which is actually our family and community engagement team. It is our department within JCPS where we bring together different people from different departments, different leaders from different departments, and we come together and we talk about how can we better serve families? Because all of us, we do different things, and sometimes it's kind of hard for us to um, explain to families like how it all fits together. So our goal today is to bring you some resources that you can use hopefully right away and give you the information and the department and the contact information so today you're going to hear from a couple of people, a couple of amazing leaders in our district, and um, I want you to listen up and make sure that you pay attention to their website, their phone number, their name, and please, please, please feel free to reach out if you see information that you can use or that you know that someone else can use. Hi, I'm Lindsay Bale, and I'm a supervisor in student assignment. Our student assignment office is responsible for processing applications um, for both elementary clusters and also our magnet schools and programs. And then we also do the transfer process. Personally, I do a lot of outreach with families, trying to explain what options that families have available to them. I'm trying to make sure that they can find a school that's a great fit for their child. And so really trying to meet families where they are, trying to engage them in the process to let them know, hey, you have these options available to you. You don't have to just stick with the school that's closest to your home or the school that's um, assigned to you. You can explore a really good fit for your child because we have so many schools available that have all kinds of options. And so we really just want to make sure that families know those options um, and get the word out. So we really want to make it easy. We want to make it accessible. Um, and we just want to help families to understand the process because there are so many um, different options. It can be overwhelming. And so our department is really committed to serving families and to helping them understand and making the process as easy as possible. We know that parents are the experts on their kids. And so, and kids do better in school when they're interested, when they're engaged. And so we really think if parents can um, access the process and they understand the process, can navigate it, they can pick a school that's a good fit for their child, and then they can, uh, the child's gonna do better. You know, the child is gonna be engaged in school, engaged in learning, and so parent engagement is everything. Parents are the experts, they know what's best for their children, and we can only do our work with the partnership of our parents. So I think we really want families to know, we want them to be aware of their options. We want them to be aware that they do have choice, that there are so many different programs in our district, that they are bound to find one that will be a good fit for their child. So, you know, we have science, technology, um, engineering, arts and math, our STEAM programs. We have performing arts programs. We have language immersion programs. Um, and then at the high school level, of course, we have the academies. And so we just really want parents to know that there is a school that's a good fit for your child um, and that we're here to help you with that. So we want to serve families and we do our best to really serve all families. Um, this year, we were really excited that we were able to get, we were able to create videos in our top five languages to help parents understand the process. And we were also able to get our choices books 
translated into the top five languages. Um, and so that was really important for us to make sure that we have equitable access to schools for all families. Um, and so that's really something that our department is committed to. We're committed to having transparent processes. We're committed to making sure that all students can access um, the, their schools of choice. And so I think just families knowing that we're here to serve them in any way that we can, whether that's just explaining the process, if it's um, if they actually need help completing the application because sometimes that can even just be a little hard to navigate um, and so we're just here to help families in whatever capacity that they need we have um, online we have our choices books in the top five languages and then we also have our school choice videos in the top five languages and so those those both explain the process uh, for applying as well as what kind of options are available to families. So if you go to the main JCPS page, which is the jcpsky.net, and you select parents, and then select apply for schools, and that's going to take you to all the information that you need and all those digital resources. Um, you can also email us, and so we use our ask student assignment at jefferson.kyschools.us, and then our phone number is 502-485-6250. My name is Jimmy Wathen. I am the JCPS Child Development and Education Specialist, and I work within the Early Childhood Department to support classrooms and teachers who, in turn, work with our students to get them ready for kindergarten. So I see that as my number one role each and every day is that our students are prepared to start kindergarten and their school journey and be successful. We, we are the first face, to use the word face, uh, with this committee of the district. Our, we have the district's youngest learners, and we believe in JCPS that our families are our child's first teachers. Being as we are their first experience in the district with school, those our families play a huge role in partnering with, with us to ensure that their children get a fresh start to uh, school and their education. We are a comprehensive program. We serve three and four year olds within Jefferson County. We are a comprehensive program. We provide wraparound services to not only the children, but also our families. We work closely with families to ensure that they have the support they need if they need support in working with their children to ensure that their children are ready for kindergarten. The best way to access us is our Ready for K website. And to find our Ready for K website, I call it our one-stop shop for all things kindergarten readiness. Everything that you could ever want to know about getting your child ready for kindergarten resources, games, activities, uh, links to additional resources and community uh, services that will help you with your uh, getting your child ready for kindergarten. The Ready for K website is actually one of the buttons. If you go to the JCPS homepage, you'll see a little Pentagon diagram there that says Ready for K. That will take you uh, to our Ready for K website and get you everything that you need, all the resources. I'm Dr. Stacy Buley. I'm the Community Relations Supervisor for the Exceptional Child Education Department at JCPS. My role is um, I do a lot of parent advocacy work. I, I help parents understand the IEP process. We're working on developing some parent workshops. We've done a community or an ECE family survey and so we're using those results to drive our work going forward to meet the needs. So family engagement is so important to us because we know that when we can partner with families that increases the likelihood of success for our students with disabilities. We are experts in the area of special education, but families are the experts on their kids. And so it takes everybody to build those collaborations and partnerships to, that lead to success for our kids. First of all, if, if a family member, if you suspect that a child has a disability that has not yet been identified or for which they're not receiving services, please let us know. Reach out to your school reach out to us, our contact information is on the website so that we can initiate that referral process for an evaluation. Other things, 
We provide special education services to 13,000 or so students in JCPS um, in terms of specially designed instruction. We provide us assistive technology. We serve the visually impaired students, the deaf and hard of hearing students, our occupational and physical therapy uh, specialist does this incredible thing where she gathers our community vendors into centralized spaces to remove that scheduling barrier for families so that they can come and be, their students can be fitted for braces or they can learn to use the mobility equipment that they already have in a better way. And she really works, she works to sometimes find money for families to build a ramp in their homes, which just leads to overall improved um, quality of life for these students. So that's incredible work. Absolutely reach out to us. Our contact information is on the JCPS website. We have a social media presence on Twitter and on Facebook with JCPS ECE. Gluck has a newly refurbished website of their own at uh, www.kygluck.org. Um, and of course, you can call our office um, anytime. My name is Dr. Vanessa McPhail. I am the Community Affairs Specialist in Diversity, Equity, and Poverty. One of the things that I do is I coordinate or I'm the administrator of our literacy and programs. Um, those programs are for our third, fourth, and fifth graders. They take place spring break, they take place winter break, and they take place during the summer. And I don't do them alone. I have a team. Her name is Dr. Taylor Utley, and she is fabulous with training. But what we do is we offer programs to kiddos to keep them engaged. It's about literacy. It's about numeracy. They read a book and then they enjoy a vendor in the community, literacy and yoga, photography, karate, um, you name it. It's important because we welcome all families and the engagement part that I focus on or that we focus on in DEP is during the summer and after school, we want kids to continuously be engaged. The summer is really important. We don't wanna lose any um, learning. And so to keep kiddos engaged, whether it's after school or whether it's during spring break or summer. And they can share these opportunities with their family, with their siblings. They get to show them what they've learned. At the end of our programs, we have a culminating event uh, where we invite the community and the parents to come and see what the kiddos have been doing either that week of spring break or that week of the two weeks. So they get to show their families what they've learned. I want families to know that we do have engaging, fun opportunities for kiddos during our break, spring break, winter and summer, and that the kids are learning, the learning is engaging, and the books are um, characters that are relatable to them, it's themed, and all the while that they're learning, they're having fun. Best way is our DEP website. Um, we are also on Twitter, Facebook, and social media. Um, so I encourage you all to go to our DEP website. That is where we post information about our upcoming programs. All right, so I hope you were able to at least find some information that was helpful for you or information that you can share with someone. Because one of the main things about PAC is we wanna make sure that we're sharing with our community because that is so important. Um, so one theme I hope you heard was all of our presenters mentioned the word expert. And we acknowledge that families, you all are the expert. My goal is to bring you all information and resources that so that you can better advocate for your babies or your babies in your community. So keep in mind that as you receive information, um, you may not need it right away or it may be something that you need to refer to. So this information uh, will be on our Facebook site for a long time. <laughs> so if you ever need to just come back to it, if you ever wanna share this information with someone, please, please, please feel free to share. So our next meeting, um, just mark your calendar and hang out with us on these next dates. We hope to see you there. Um, and also please make sure that you're connected with us on our other social media accounts. We are on 
Uh, Facebook, obviously, right now we're on Twitter, we're on Instagram. So please make sure that you connect with us. And lastly, if there was any information that we shared today that, and you're thinking, I really want more information about blank, please let us know what that is. So if you want us to highlight another department or if you want us to bring other information, please feel free to reach out to myself or Andrea Brown. And either of us will be happy to either uh, link you with the department that you need some assistance or we could bring some information um, to you all in the future. So again, thank you all so much for checking out our meeting today. I hope that you had some um, information that either is going to be helpful for you or helpful for some other families that you work with. Happy holidays and stay safe over the break. <laughs>